call. Bow your heads. Listen to my voice. Think about your life. Think about the pain. Some of you may be in a lot of pain. Some of you may not even understand where this pain is coming from. So I ask this, are you saved? If you, if you don't have a relationship with Christ, this pain is because Christ is calling. If that's you, I urge you to, to, to think about your relationship with Christ. You know it's him because you're here. You know it's his voice because you, you, you're one of his sheep. Today is the day that you make that choice. You can't wait another minute. You can't wait another day because tomorrow is not promised. Or maybe you are on God's side. And because the rope burned your hand you let go of the rope or maybe you fell into the mud and and you let go of the rope or maybe they pulled on the rope too hard maybe that temptation hit you so hard that it, it yanked you off the rope but God is still the anchor on the rope Make that choice today to get back in right relationship with Christ. Make that choice today. You don't have another minute. You don't have, you're not, tomorrow is not, leaving out of these doors is not even promised. I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand on that. I'm not going to ask you to squeeze anyone's hands. I'm not going to ask you to do any of that. I'm going to ask you right now to make that choice, to make it to the altar right now. You make that choice right now. Tomorrow is not promised. Make that choice right now. God, help me to understand this pain. God, help me to make it through this pain. As I pray, if that's you, move forward to the altar. If that's you, if that's you, move forward to the altar. God, I thank you so much for your anointing. I thank you, God, for your word. I thank you, God, so much for what you've done today. For allowing us to understand the purpose of pain. How it is designed to, to make me a better person. To make me a better Christian. God, to make me a better child for you. Lord, we simply want to be a lighthouse so that no matter where we are, people will be able to look at us and find direction because we've already made it up in our minds and in our hearts that we will serve you. And not only serve you, but serve you to the fullest by emptying out anything that's unlike you. Lord, we thank you, we glorify you, 
Lord, we praise you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm not wanting to keep you longer, but I, I just have a story I want to tell you. You know, the other day we were talking about the series and, and the staff meeting, and we were talking about the amount of hurt people that we encounter. And really, there is so much pain. In fact, in this fallen world, to some degree, all of us have a measure of hurt. And, and it manifests itself in different ways in each of us. You know, for some people, it manifests itself in fear, and they kind of run away. For other people, they look at you and uh, maybe they're porcupines. I call them the porcupines. Their needles come out. And every time you try to get close to them, they actually prick you and you want to stay away from them. And other people, maybe they go and turtle up. You know, they put that shell on and don't let anybody get any closer. And I can remember in my own life as a believer, there was a time where I was struggling with addiction deeply and, and I didn't know a way out. And the church I was going to at that time really didn't even understand the nature of addiction and unfortunately they kind of repelled me and I became one that was you know to be put on the outside rather than someone that they would embrace and you know Galatians uh, I, I forget the exact verse I think it's 3 2 or 6 2 it says carry one another's burdens and I want you to know at that time I went to a, a group I went to a treatment center and in there they said you never have to be alone again and in fact, I wish I had heard that in church at the time, you know, because we have the Holy Spirit. We never have to be alone again. But also, if we carry one another's burdens, we never have to be alone. And if you're here and you're hurting, man, don't walk out of here the same way. There's people around you who will love you and, you know, love you. Even if you're a porcupine, we're going to love you, you know. Even if you're a turtle, we're going to love you and we're going to do all we can to help break through that shell. Why? Because that's what God tells us to do. That's what it means to be a faith family, a church family of believers. And we try to do it in many different ways. And one of those ways is if you're hurting financially tonight and that's a burden on you, please, before you go, go over into that room. We would love to bless you. Um, bring some people who are dealing with difficult stuff to church next week as we continue on in this series. But we also have a great Friday night service. And uh, at some point, I think all of us, if I'm true in what I say, that we all have some form of a hurt habit or hang up, maybe all of us need to pop into that Friday night service. In fact, I met a guy in a very strange way just the other day, and he said that um, he walked in and somebody had taken him to a CR service, and he thought it was just all about addiction recovery. And he walked in and he said he, he didn't want to stay out in the truck, so he went to one of the codependency meetings that they were having as part of it. He sat down in the meeting and they said, why are you here? And he goes, because I don't want to you know, just be out there in the truck. Two years later, he was still in the group. He was still there and he was growing and he was reaching out and he was helping other people. You know, don't go on hurting. That's not what it's about. Learn from these things and grow. And that's why we do series like this, because so many of us are hurting. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May give you peace in Jesus' name. Live your lives to make a difference in the lives of others. Have a great night, everybody. God bless you. Thanks for being here. I look forward to seeing you next week. And I hope to see you at that baptism as well. Bless you all. Once again, we want to thank you for joining us here for one of our inspiring messages at Journey Church. If you live in the greater Jacksonville area, we want to invite you to come out to one of our weekend experiences. Our service times are Saturday night at 6 p.m., Sunday at 9.30 a.m., or 11.15 a.m. Or if you would like to, you can join us online at any time watching any of our services live at journeychurch.org. We look forward to seeing you next time.